So what do the Beatles, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga, and many other famous musicians have in common? They all started out playing cover songs. Hello Internet, my name is Daniel Park and I've been a full-time musician for over 13 years, performing all over the world, playing cover songs. My goal here is to share my knowledge and to help inspire others to become musicians because I didn't have any help when I was starting off performing. Many famous bands and artists that you know did their trial by fire by performing and honing their craft on stage. This just shows you how important it is to just start learning songs and start performing them in front of people. So if you watch my last video, and I'll put a link up here, I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a full-time musician. One of these steps I mention is going to open mic every week and start performing there. It's crucial as a musician to just start adding new material, but perform it live as well. And if you want to be a singer-songwriter and write your own songs, I still insist on learning cover songs first and performing them. This is for a few reasons. First, you will get used to being comfortable on stage. Second, you will learn how song structure works by imitating songs already written. And third, you will start recognizing the technical side of your live performance. So let's go over these three points now. As a performer, you'll be on stage a lot, and the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be until you finally master it. And being a master at this craft means you can be your true authentic self and share your creative expression on stage without feeling nervous or anxious. And this can take a lifetime to master, but why not start now, right? If you want to be a singer-songwriter, playing cover songs is a great way to learn song structure. By actually learning and performing the songs that inspire you, you can step into a feeling of how the songwriter arranged the melodies and the lyrics together. This is also a great way to get a feel for your sound or your style of music that you like to play. So the last thing is, if you're a musician who just jams at home and you might play guitar on your couch and sing acoustically, this is fine for small intimate settings, but once you start going into larger venues, you'll need to use a microphone and a PA system. So being comfortable with amplified sound is kind of a requirement for uh, being a musician these days. Singing into a microphone, plugging your guitar into the mixer, hearing your music being amplified might seem strange at first, but again, the more you do it, the better you'll become. Eventually, you will need to purchase your own microphone, PA, cables to start playing your own gigs. So here are my final thoughts. Before the Beatles were rock stars, they performed 104 nights in a row in Hamburg without a night off. And they performed four and a half hours of music on the weekdays and then six hours of music on the weekends. So all I'm saying is put in the hours of practicing, learning new songs and performing and you can get there too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You can help this video by clicking the thumbs up button. And if you want to get more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. All right. Cheers.